So now in this video, we're going to do an Ohm's Law formula. It's uh, R, the actual formula is R equals V divided by I. And uh, so that's a resistance equals voltage divided by current. We have a desired current for this circuit. Our desired current is the maximum current for indicator LEDs like this. It's a good idea to uh, know this, even if you're a beginner in electronics. But I don't do many of these videos because I don't think they're exciting on video. Probably better to learn from books or websites and do these calculations yourself. But in uh, any case, we're going to look at uh, what we do need just as an example. So we have uh, 5 volts from the power supply. When it comes to the resistor setting current, the LED is in series with it, so it drops some of the voltage. Red LEDs tend to drop 2 volts right there, so you can expect 3 volts across the resistor because 5 subtract 2 is 3. Whereas the blue LEDs tend to drop uh, about 3 volts right there. So 5 subtract by 3 will give us about 2 volts across the resistor. And again, that will set the current through the whole uh, circuit. But our desired current, for whatever reason, is uh, 20 milliamps of current. So to find that resistance, we just take uh, the voltage. for If it's red, it's 3 volts, divided by the current we want. Uh, for blue, uh, 2 volts, divided by the current we want. We do have to make sure the resistor doesn't get too hot. Again, that's simple. That's covered a lot in other videos, so I'm just going to do a quick review. That's voltage times, not divide, but voltage times current will give you the wattage. And this is way below the uh, rated values of these resistors. We'll look at that next. And moving down, I actually did the formula there. So you can see we got, uh, for the red LED, uh, 3 volts divided by uh, 20 milliamps, the same as 0 0.02 amps right there. You get 150. That's the value resistor we want uh, for this circuit to set it for 20 milliamps. Hopefully that makes sense. So we got the voltage times the current. Um, that gives us the wattage there, 0 0.06 watts. We need to stay below 0 0.125 so that they don't get hot. Um, we got to stay below 0.25 watts so they don't burn out. We're well below that. Uh, for the blue LED, again, same formula, but now it's 2 volts because the blue LED drops more voltage from the resistor, uh, 20 uh, milliamps. We got 100 right there, and it'll be a little bit cooler. And now we'll take a multimeter uh, measurement. So the power supply is actually off right now, but we're going to measure the voltage across the uh, board. So one reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes I forget to turn the power supply on. And this one actually gives you a negative voltage. Well, it's off a slight uh, negative voltage for some reason. So now I'm going to turn it on and we're going to verify that we have five volts at the supply there. So I just figured I would uh, demonstrate that because sometimes you get unexpected uh, results when you do uh, this testing. You gotta figure out why, but it's part of the learning process. So in any case, we saw that we had five volts. Since we have the uh, circuit open, the resistor is not connected to the LED. No current is gonna flow through the uh, resistor. I don't know what I did there. Let's uh, try, uh, there we go. Um, that reset it or whatever. We can actually measure the resistance of the resistor. So there can be no power going through it. Doesn't matter which way uh, we go. Uh, it should be open on one end, but there you can see 150 for protecting the red LED and uh, 100 for protecting the blue LED as we saw before. So it's not going to be exact. Uh, electronics generally isn't an exact. So we got the uh, current that we got set here and uh, some meters you may have to move the probe for all these measurements. This one, the only time we move the probe is for high current. So I can leave the red probe where it is. The black probe where it is uh, we're just fine so now we have to complete the circuit so hopefully you're already aware of that but when you measure a current it also has to go through the meter that's why there is this gap there so there you can see so it's about 20 milliamps of current um it's not exact but that's the way electronics is and as you can see as the red led warms up it's conducting a little bit better maybe there's some other stuff conducting a little bit better um well it warms up too that's uh, something with electronics. You may have that problem. And uh, for some reason, this is a lot less current than I expected through the blue LED. And we are back because after that scene that I just showed, I did some testing. So here is the uh, problematic LED right there. So this is an LED I used a lot. I probably damaged it at some point in some way, maybe put some current through it. But it's dropping more voltage than it should. Um, because we got less current, there's less voltage across the resistor. I also measured that. Uh, uh, I think we'll look at that in the next video. But in any case, here's another one that I've been using for a while right there. Um, also, we're uh, losing some voltage to the uh, circuit due to resistance in the uh, wires and stuff. I think we might look at that in the next video. 
um, but uh, in any case the voltage uh, goes down when we are powering the load than what we measured when nothing was being powered right there so here's an LED I just took out of the uh, kit so it's a new LED right there I haven't uh, used it for anything else other than measuring current through it a few times now and there you can see we got an even higher uh, current there um, one thing I forgot though to uh, mention is that even though these are rated for three volts these blue LEDs uh, at higher currents you're probably going to get that uh, 3.2 volts that it drops it goes up as current goes up lower currents it goes down below uh, 2 volts I think we'll look at that in the next video um, same with red LEDs instead of always dropping 2 volts at high currents it's about 2.2 volts and lower currents it's uh, less than that closer to 1.5 volts it goes down quite a bit when currents lower I think we'll look at that in the next video but in case when you're done with the uh, multimeter make sure to turn it off so in any case this video didn't go as planned but I think that's good electronics doesn't go as planned also it doesn't work out perfectly to what you calculate for various reasons you uh, gotta figure out why that makes you uh, better at uh, doing electronics and problem solving and uh, it makes electronics more interesting actually you can uh, take that stuff you learn and apply it to other circuits later on but in any case this is my short video series this is one of the longest ones so I'm going to cut it uh, there. Make sure you check out one of the videos on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.